Welcome to another free tip of the week brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm Richard Ross, your instructor. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to get real-time data from a website using Excel 2007. One of the nice new things about Excel 2007 is you can get real-time data from a website. And here, for example, I'm getting my stock portfolio information, two stocks I care about, Microsoft and Ford, and I'm pulling that data right off of a website directly into Excel. Let's see how I did it. Here I've gone to my favorite finance site. I use Yahoo Finance, and I did a search for Microsoft. And notice, about halfway down the middle of the page here, you can see the stock information. All right, looks good. Let's come back up here and take a note of the address bar. It says finance.yahoo.com slash QS equals Microsoft. Copy this guy. Click on it. Hit Control C on your keyboard. It'll copy it to the clipboard. Now let's go back over to Excel. Here I am in Excel. I'm going to go to data from web. Get external data from the web. Click on that. All right. My home page loads, which is my website. But I'm going to click in here in the address bar and paste in that address from Yahoo Finance. Hit go. And notice the little mini web browser opens up Yahoo Finance. Come down here to the center of the page. Here's the stock information. Notice these little yellow arrows. Click on that. It becomes a green check mark. And notice this little table here has been selected. Do the same thing for the second one over here. There's two little tables that you have to grab on this site. Now come down and click on Import. Now Excel says, where do you want to put this data? It's got A1 selected. I'm going to change that down here to like A4. So I get some room on top of the sheet. All right, and then I'll hit OK. It'll get the data and import it and put it right there. Now this is actual data that's been pulled into Excel. And I'm just going to highlight this column here and left justify it. There we go. You can widen this out a little bit if you want to. And I wanted some room up top here so I could put in Microsoft. All right. Let's do the same thing. Let's get another stock. All right. How about Ford? F-O-R-D. There's Ford Motor Company right there. It loads up. Beautiful. Let's get the URL. Just click up here and hit Copy, Control-C. Come back over to Excel. Data from web. All right. Paste in your address. Hit go. All right, come right down here. Find little tables. There they are. Click. Click. I'll hit import again. Where do you want the data to go? Right there. C4 is perfect. Hit OK. It gets the data. There it is. Now, this column is duplicated. It's the same as A. So I'm just going to hide it. Right? right click and then hide. And again, I'll left justify this column here and I'll put Ford up top and you can hide any rows you don't want to see like let's say I don't care about uh, any of this stuff in here let's see hide that right click hide all right volume average volume all this stuff let's say I don't care about any of this stuff I'll just right click and hide it okay want to see what your portfolio is worth now all right, how many shares do you have of each of these? Let's say I've got 15 shares of Microsoft and 12 shares of Ford. Okay, those values are now going to be equals number of shares you have times the last trade volume. Enter. All right, and I can just simply do the same thing over here. Equals 12 times that 8, and that's 96.42. Want to see your total portfolio value, right? That's going to be equals this plus this. Enter. And I didn't use a sum function here because there's a hidden column in there. Right? So it wouldn't be able to sum that up properly. So I just add them up individually. There's my value. If you want to format that as a currency, you can too. That's fine. Now, want this to be real time? Watch this. Go back to data and hit refresh all. It'll go out to the web and get current updated pricing. And notice the price just changed a little bit. And that's the beauty of this, is that you don't have to keep getting this data from the website. It'll automatically refresh for you. Just hit the refresh button. And there it goes. And you can watch your stock portfolio change in real time. 
Did you enjoy this free tip? If so, there's lots more just like it on my website at ExcelLearningZone.com. Lots of free tips, tricks, and full hour-long tutorials. YouTube viewers, make sure to come to my website at ExcelLearningZone.com slash YouTube. You get a huge discount on my full Excel tutorials, plus you can watch my full Excel 101 course absolutely free of charge. Again, that's ExcelLearningZone.com slash YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.